There are two types of motorbikes, one who is as cheap as dirt and others which makes your wallet cry. So what's the reason behind the expensiveness of a litre class bike? Here is the answer. These are the flagship models which shows companies engineering and technological power. These bikes are built through the finest materials available and are the dream bikes for every bike enthusiast. The production volume of these motorbikes is generally low and lot of R&D has to be put to make these great machines which makes them expensive plus the marketing cost along with labouring tools are also added. The company basically targets to those who want to ride high engineered performance machine and willing to pay a premium tag for it. These also have to be lightweight which makes use of light yet high tensile components which further adds to the cost of the bike. A leader class motorbike comes mainly in three variations, superbike, sport touring and street fighters. Superbikes are track focused bikes which emphasizes on acceleration, speed, handling and braking at an expense of comfort. Sport touring motorbike comes with attributes of sport bike and touring bike with better comfort than superbike for longer touring. Street fighter bikes are generally used for daily commutes within cities and are very versatile motorbikes. Tires also plays a very important role in leader class bikes. They are responsible for acceleration, high speed stability, good handling with excellent cornering and efficient braking. These are generally high speed rated tires and do come at a high price. Braking systems combine higher performance brake pads and disc brakes with multiple piston calipers to make bike halt from high speeds. Suspension systems also have to be advanced in terms of materials for increased stability and durability. A liter class may or may not come with fairing but when used it is to reduce aerodynamic lag and provide wind protection to rider which further adds cost. Most of the liter class motorbikes produce 150 to 200 horsepower at 10,000 to 13,000 rpm which makes transmission suspension and braking quite complicated. The engineers also have a big task to make the engine less vibrating as possible. Coming to engine, a leader class motorbike comes with different types of cylinders like inline or V4s with parallel and V-twins. You need to note that insurance costs are high in such bikes and maintaining a leader class bike is also pricey because of the low volume produced parts and highly skilled labors that are required for maintaining and thus leads to high cost. So that's all for this video guys, I hope you liked it and I'll see you in my next video.